Hi, it's Kim and I'm here today with a layout for Dusty Attic and this is a layout prepared using the Inspiration Mood Board which is one of the challenges that Dusty Attic runs each month. Um, they also run a sketch challenge if you like doing um, sketches and there's some great prizes so go and check it out. I'll put the Dusty, a link to the Dusty Attic website um, in the description box below if you do want to go and have a look. So um, the mood board for this layout is those rich autumn colours that I popped up um, in the first photo before the video started. And so I have chosen to use the In the Leaves collection from 49 and Market, which is just perfect with the mood board for this month. And so what you can see me doing here is putting double-sided tape onto the back of one of the laser cut pieces, which is like a frame with layered pieces around it. So it looks like they're layered pieces around it, but it's just a flat frame. So I'm putting a little bit of um, craft foam behind that and I'm using my T-square ruler now to make sure that it's square. I Even though I place elements on my layouts crooked, I like to have at least one of the elements at, um, sorry, at, I like to have at least one of the elements straight because um, it then makes the crooked elements look intentional. So what I have done in the composition for this layout is that I'm utilising the leaves that are printed in the background paper and then I am building up the other elements from those leaves. So essentially the leaves create a continuation of movement from the bottom right corner up towards the top left corner because the frame and those lace pieces, which are also from the laser cuts in the, in the leaves collection, seem to flow out of those autumn leaves in that bottom right corner. The photo I'm using is a photo of my son and his grandfather um, that I took when we were walking around a lake one autumn day a few years ago. Now this is um, a title from Dusty Attic. What I have done here, I absolutely love this title because it's long, it's a mix of fonts. I love fonts and I love words on my layouts and so this title is just perfect. I have painted it with a khaki green paint and then I have rubbed an opal wax over it, green brocade. Now opal waxes are a bit different because they're not opaque, they cre create like a shimmery shine over a base colour. So this is given it sort of a goldy colour over the green and it's really pretty. You should be able to see it better in the close-up photos at the end. And then this is another chipboard piece of word script. I really like how it's created the layer over the ticket and frame and the bottom of the photo. It sort of pulls all of that together, particularly because the photo doesn't fill the whole of the frame. So this is um, a script piece um, from Dusty Attic and I just used a copper wax over that so I didn't paint it or prep it in any way because it's a solid wax, it just went straight over it. And now I'm going to put um, this bow on that script chipboard and what it does is create a line of that orange from the butterfly across the bottom of the photo and I think it really draws attention to the photo and plus my son's wearing an orange jacket so it works really well with that. Now I was playing them with a couple of more little um, chipboard mini foliage pieces which I'm going to tuck into this floral laser cut to give it more dimension and interest. So I have painted the stems of this foliage in the same khaki green as the title but I haven't used the opal wax over it and then for the berries I've just dabbed on that copper wax so it, the three pieces tie together with very similar colours. I decided to check whether my title was straight and it wasn't quite straight, but it was too late because art glitter glue, once it dries, it sticks really well. So that was that. Um, I'm just sticking some little, um, oh, they're like a little acrylic stickers on here. And I haven't stuck down the foliage and the laser cut flowers yet because I'm just contemplating whether that works. So I'm just leaving them there while I keep doing things and make sure I'm happy with them. Plus I tossed up about adding a layer of rub-ons in under that, but I decided it would get too busy. 
so that I'm just going to go with the laser cut and the chipboard foliage and I'm just moving the foliage around to see until I find a position that I like. And that's pretty close to what I end up deciding on, but I'm just leaving that there and I'm going to move on and have a look at some other items that I've got here to finish this layout off. So this forms the base of this layout, like you could call the layout complete at this stage, but by adding a few extra details, I think it really um, finishes the layout off well. So what I'm doing here is grabbing some more autumn leaves, which will tie in with the autumn leaves that are printed onto the paper. And you can see there's a bit of a gap underneath the photo down to the autumn leaves um, that are printed on the paper. So I'm just going to add some more leaves there and it will just help tie that photo piece into the um, printed leaves. So I'm going to stick, I'm happy with this laser cut foliage. So I've come back to it and I'm sticking it down. And before it dries, so I can tuck pieces, I'm going to put the chipboard foliage in as well. So I clipped off the end of the stem just so that I could stick it in underneath the ticket that's part of the frame because I'd used double-sided tape there so it um, hasn't got a lot of room there. So, And then I've got the second piece of foliage and I'm just going to sort of layer that up. So the first one I tucked under the laser cut pieces and the second one I'm sort of layering over the top. And it really does add a little bit of extra dimension and interest to those laser cut flowers. And now I'm going to stick down all my leaves. So I'm just using some foam tape again. So for some of the leaves, I'm only putting a single layer of foam tape. And for others of the leaves, I'm putting two layers of foam tape. And that will just vary the different dimension. And considering that they're going over the leaves on the background paper, it essentially gives you three layers of leaves. Um, in that bottom corner and I think it ties it together nicely. For some of the leaves I put a little bit of glue on one end and stick it down to the paper and then put some tape on the other end so it sort of lifts up off the page as the leaf goes along. Um, yep. So just fiddling, making sure I get it um, so they look random but um, pleasing to the eye. So you can see that green leaf there really does the job of just lengthening the leaves over towards the left of the page. And I like how, how that's worked out. And then I have one last leaf here, which is sort of, oh no, I'm gonna, am I going to tuck that up there? Nope. Uh, yes, I'm going to place it so it looks like it's falling out of or blowing out of the cluster of leaves, just putting a little bit of glue on its stem and, yeah, happy with that. So it's getting really close to the end of this layout now. Um, I am going to add some enamel. Oh, that's what that sticker is, enamel. So I've got some enamel dots on these on this sheet of stickers. Again, this is all from the In the Leaves collection. I'm just getting a pointy tool so I can pick them up off the um, background page and I'm just going to stick those around in various spots around the layout. So I've used a few different size ones just in the colours that are in the mood board and that are all over the layout. So the greens, browns and oranges. Just scattering those around. These are really cute, these enamel dots. Um, they just add a little extra to the layout, a little, it's a different texture in the items that you're using because they've got a bit of dimension and they're shiny. Um, yeah, they're just a different sort of texture and I really like that effect. So I've just selected random colors, um, all the clusters, aren't the same or anything but um, because they work so well with the colors that are in the layout it's um it works really well and I'm also going to come back and put a little enamel heart because there's some hearts in those colors on there and I'm just going to stick that next to the word sticker that I added before and now covering up the photo I've got some 
bronzy colored um, oxide ink it's got a little bit of a shimmer in it that I am splattering into the background which just again brings more of those brown colors in um, and once it dries it's really pretty it's not too strong or anything but it's just you'll see it in the close-up photos um, and a tip that if you're blobs of ink that you splattered on are too big if you get a piece of paper towel and just use a corner or an edge you can sop up some of the ink and so you can just tidy up some of those bigger drips um, you do need to use a corner just so you've got an edge and it'll just absorb some of that moisture out of those drips so that they don't spread too big and that's it so now here's some um, photos of the layout um, and you can see all of the various chipboard elements there um, in all their detail. Uh, thanks so much for joining me. If you've enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate if you'd subscribe and press like. If you've got any questions, please put them below. I'll keep an eye out and I'll answer them. Thanks again and I'll see you again soon. Bye.